In this presentation, we're going to add cost of goods sold type of accounts that will be used as we go through our job costing system. Get ready, because here we go with zero. Here we are in our job costing company dashboard. We're going to start off by jumping over to our Excel sheet to see what our objective will be. So here's going to be our Excel sheet. Now, when we enter the system, this information into the system, as we go through the job costing process, we're going to be recording this in essence to a cost of goods sold account that we're then going to be assigning to jobs. So that's what we're going to be doing here. We have the cost of goods sold account down here, which we're basically further breaking out and being able to track them by job or project. Our jobs and our example problem being job 14, job 15, and job 16. Then we're further going to break that information down into our example problem in Excel with the direct materials, direct labor, and the factory overhead. So those are going to be the three kind of components of the cost of goods sold main account on the general ledger. And then we can further break that into more components in our, our zero accounting system. And that's what we'll focus in on here. We're going to make these three accounts, these three accounts that are going to be the supporting accounts for the cost of goods sold accounts on uh, zero's chart of accounts that we can then expand or collapse down to just basically a cost of goods sold account on the general ledger and then track this information by project and within right now we're going to add more items for the direct materials which will include these items which are going to be in another subcategory of the direct material so this will all make more sense as, as we uh, start to go through the problem but that's going to be our objective so to do this, let's go back on over to zero. We're going to be setting up our information. Now we're going to be going to the chart of accounts. We do that by going to the accounting drop down and scrolling on down to that chart of accounts. You'll recall that the chart of accounts is going to be in order assets, liabilities, equity, income, and expenses. We're in the all accounts section here. We're really looking at kind of expense type of accounts, but more specifically the cost of goods sold. We could go to the expenses tab here and see if that allows us uh, to, to focus in on where we want to be and it does. So here we have it. We have the cost of goods sold account here. And uh, what we wanna do is add more accounts that are gonna be basically within the account type of cost of goods sold. I'm gonna add the parent accounts, which are gonna be our three major factors, which will be direct materials, direct labor and overhead. And then we'll get into the subcategories within them. So let's do that. I'm gonna say, before we do, however, just note terminology here. We have the cost of goods sold is the name. The account type is direct costs. So if you are using other accounting software, such as like a QuickBooks, this account type would be cost of goods sold type of account. So the, just be aware of that uh, type of terminology. We're going to be setting these up as direct costs. You could think of them as kind of cost of goods sold type of accounts. And then we're going to go up top and say add accounts. Let's go up and add account. We're going to pick the account type with the drop down. It's going to be in the expenses section. We want that direct costs item. I'm going to select the first item number. It's going to be uh, 510. So we'll put it at the 510. We're going to pick up the name. Then we're going to be picking up the name. And I'm going to put the name as uh, materials. Let's put it direct materials. So we'll say direct materials. Description is optional. I'll keep that as is. And so we have, I'm not going to enter any of the tax information. So I'm going to go ahead and then save that. So if we save that, then there is our uh, 510 direct materials. I'm going to do this for now direct labor. So I'm going to go back up top and add an account. We're going to add the account. We're going to pick the account once again under the expense area. It's going to be the direct costs, direct costs. Then I'm going to pick the code. I'm going to say uh, 550 this time and then i'm going to say this is going to be direct labor so direct labor that's it i'm going to go ahead and say save that one so there's our direct labor let's do it again this time i'm going to go for factory overhead so i'm going to add another account i'm going to say this is going to be an expense type of account as well so i'm going to go back on down we want to make this uh an expense or under the expenses the direct costs and then we're going to make the code for this one. Let's make it uh, 580. And this is going to be over. Uh, put in the name here, overhead. Now notice that the numbers I'm leaving in a lot of space. So we can then put basically sub accounts within there. So I'm going to call this overhead. So that's going to be an overhead account. So then I'm going to say OK. 
And that's going to be kind of like our, our catch-all of accounts, what would be kind of like the parent accounts if you were working with a QuickBooks system. It'll also help us to line up the account number, so anything direct related to di direct materials will be within the account number 510 to 550, and between 550 and 580, that'll be the, the direct labor. We'll talk about how to group this information on the financial statements uh, later. It's a little bit different than QuickBooks Online. We're not going to have the same sub-account feature here, but don't worry about that. We still want to put this information in, in this format. And then when we get to the reports, we'll show you how you can format the reports and you can have some, some neat you know, formatting uh, systems that can, that can come out to a similar kind of uh, formatting system you might uh, find in a QuickBooks that would use something like sub-accounts. So it's just a different system. So we'll talk about that later. But here we're going to keep on adding accounts. Now I'm going to add accounts that are going to be within the direct materials. In other words, within the account range of the 510 to the 550. So I'm going to go back into Excel and that's going to be this list. It's going to be in column AC in the Excel worksheet under the example tab. I'm just going to copy each of these. I'm going to set them up as um, as accounts over here under the basically the cost of goods sold type of account or direct costs. So I'm just going to copy that. We're going to add another account. We're going to add another account. The account type is going to be the direct. Let's see if we can type it in there now. Be a little bit faster. This is going to be, let's make this 512. Uh, so I'll make it 512 and the description and the name. So there is that. I'm going to do this again. We're going to repeat this process. So there it is. It's going to be in between or right under the direct materials, not a sub account in the same feature or in the same way as with QuickBooks online or desktop, but uh, we will be able to format the report. So we'll talk about that later. Plaster and gypsum board. I'm going to copy the plaster and the gypsum board. I'm going to make a new account. We're going to be adding account up top. And I'm going to say that this is, I'm going to paste the name here while I, while I remember it. And this is going to be a direct cost. So we'll pick up the direct cost and let's make the code 514, uh, 12, 13. We'll skip a number a few times. So in case we have another one that goes in between there. So then we're going to save that information. So I'll save the gypsum board. And then we'll go on back on over and say now we have the cement render. So cement render. Going to be picking up the cement render. And then we're going to add another account for the cement render. I'm going to call this. This is going to be the direct cost and the code. Let's make it 516. And then the name cement render and save that. So there is that go back over and continue this process next we have the ceramic tile uh, query tile the different different kinds of tile and so we're gonna then go uh, add another account so we'll add another account same kind of process it's gonna be a direct uh, direct cost account and we're gonna be picking this up for the uh, 518 so it's gonna be 518 and there we have it so that looks good and we'll save that. So let's go ahead and save that and then continue on back on over to Excel to see the to see the next one. And that's going to be a dropped ceiling, a drop ceiling. Um, so we'll pick that up and we're going to say this is going to be another. So we're going to add here. We'll add here and then I want to pick up. This is going to be a direct cost again so we got the direct cost and then the code is going to be five what are we at 520 now 520 and then there's the name let's do it again we're going to say save and let's do it again so now we only have a few more to do we're like halfway there so let's go to the flooring flooring this is going to be the wide plank floor very nice very fashionable we're going to say this is going to be a direct cost, direct cost. And we're going to pick up the code here for 522, 522 flooring, and then save that one, 522. Back on over to Excel. Now we have the marble. Marble is nice. I like marble. I want to carve statues. And then I'm going to say add account. And we're going to say this is going to be the direct cost, direct cost. And this is going to be for 524. And then we have the marble. So we're going to add that one. 
and then we'll go back on over. We're going to do this a few more times, of course. We've got the wall covering, which includes things like the wallpaper. And so we're going to say, add a new one for the wall covering. Got to cover those walls. You can't have a naked wall over there. We're going to say, this is going to be the uh, direct costs, direct costs. And the account number we are on now at this point is uh, 526. So we're going to put that here, 526, because that's what we're on. And there we have the wall covering. Let's add that one. Continuing on, continuing on. Next one, we have the paint, wood stain, and um, box finishing. So paint is, is not under the wall covering. Although we could cover the wall with paint, I would suppose. But in any case, this is going to be a direct cost. The number that we are on at this point is the uh, 528, 528. That's what we'll use there. 528, paint, wood stain, and fox finishing. So there we have that. And then we got the staff. Now this is not, don't get this confused with staff like labor. We're not doing labor because that would go under direct labor or overhead. This is staff, which they said was some kind of rock here. So this is materials. This is under materials. This is going to be the direct uh, costs. And we are on, what are we on here? We're on 528. So let's pick that one. 528 and the name it's not available we already have 528 we're at 530 530 all right hopefully we, we added enough space within the account numbers hopefully you can see why it's you got to kind of think about those account numbers to add the space that uh, that you need within them so let's continue on looks like we do have enough space here I'm gonna go then to back to Excel we got a couple more to add the stucco. Stucco is important. So we got to have stucco. So let's go on back on over and we're going to add an account for the stucco. And that's going to be for, this is a direct cost. And then I think we're at 532. I can't see the accounts, but I'm pretty sure that's where we're at. My memory, my rememory is not great, but uh, I'm remembering that. And then we have the wood finishing. We're going to finish up with the wood finishing the wood finishing will finish us up so we're then going to add the account again wood finishing and this is going to be the account type of direct uh, costs and i think we're on what are we on again five three four i knew that five three four five three four for the wood finishing will finish it up so then we're going to say save and there we have it so so we've done this for the direct materials and now you can see we basically have you know the subcategories within the direct materials this will help us to do some grouping information when we when we start to report this or see this on uh, the financial statements we did these subcategories for in essence the direct materials we could do a similar fashion or a similar function for the others we will do so with the overhead you can imagine also having direct uh, direct labor broken out into to different uh, categories if you so choose so we'll use these and this will make more sense of course as we start to post these accounts and create financial statements and as well as projects with them that's going to be it for now let's get out of here